So carpenter bees are a type of bee that um, go and live inside of wood, excavate it in order to create different uh, galleries in order to raise their young, essentially. They look like a bumblebee, um, but I tell kids um, it's shiny butt versus fuzzy butt. Bumblebees have fuzzy butts, carpenter bees have shiny butts. The males in particular are very aggressive. They're trying to try to create or to protect their um, their environment. They will get in your face and try to intimidate you. So if you get something that looks like a bumblebee that's like in your face, it's probably gonna be a carpenter bee instead. Um, you'll have a quarter inch, maybe three eighths inch, almost circular hole that they'll go into the wood drill in and then turn in order to create the galleries for their for the brood. The other thing you'll look at is sometimes they'll do some staining because as they're chewing out that wood, they'll kick down this spray um, of regurgitated wood and other stuff that can stain different things. They don't eat the wood. Um, they just excavate it in order to create the galleries. Like carpenter ants, they just live in the wood, unlike termites that eat the wood. So you typically have one cycle per year. They typically go from like egg to adult, a little bit over a month. Carpenter bee season is gonna be really springtime. They can go into the summer, but in our geography, you know, the Southeast Mid-Atlantic area, you're looking at late March through maybe May-ish. Um, but the danger for carpenter bees is you may see one this year and you go, okay, that's fine. Well, you know, if they have hypothetically six young, they'll all come back to the same place. So now you don't have one coming back. Now you've got potentially seven coming back. And then that next year you have, you know, potentially upwards in the forties. So that's where the real damage comes in. So the earlier you can take care of carpenter bee damage, or carpenter bees in general, the less damage it causes to your structure. So male carpenter bees, those ones that get in your face, they cannot sting. Uh, female carpenter bees have the potential to sting, but by and large, they do not. They have to be really threatened in order to sting, to sting an individual. Outside of the, on the house, they don't, they don't have a need to be on the inside. Their food source isn't there. You know, they probably get back and forth to their brood. Um, so it's gonna be on the outside. They're gonna be looking for that unfinished wood the best they can. You know, it can be underneath the deck, it can be on your soffit, it can be some accent piece, you know, it can be your kid's playground. They're gonna look for some wood that's unfinished the best they can, and that's where they're gonna to target. The best thing you could do to prevent carpenter bees is to paint any exposed wood you have on the outside, including your decks. Um, you know, use like a latex paint or something like that in order to create a barrier to make, that, that's gonna be the best bang for your buck. Um, the next thing you can do, let's say you have a cabin in the woods, is to just proactively have a treatment done, like right before season and maybe even at the beginning of fall to help prevent them from coming in. But really doing exterior treatment on those exposed timbers is gonna be your second best option. Um, it's a, it's a fairly straightforward treatment, but if you don't have it done, the damage that can happen over time can become significant, especially if you've got some uh, predatory animals that get involved, because then they can cause significant damage, like woodpeckers. Woodpeckers love carpenter bees, and they will destroy wood very quickly in order to get to the brood chambers.